my first reaction to the story was was how tangible and relatable this very you know pleasantly simplistic linear story is um, about these this couple kind of getting harassed by someone that is it harassment or is he just being friendly or you know is he just weird and should we think that he's weird or is he just not like us and and then just are we being paranoid and so it's it's something that you know could happen to anybody well my character Simon is a guy that that knows Gordo from high school and we've got a, we've got a little bit of a of a history together uh he is a guy that uh, I kind of knew a little bit in school, and we, as the as the the movie progresses, we figure out that the the history is a little bit deeper with this guy than than Simon initially discloses to to his wife Robin. At risk of of being a spoiler, you know, it turns out that I bullied this guy pretty badly, and and uh, and and this guy may actually have an axe to grind, and I might have a bill to pay. Joel's just a very tasteful actor who's who's not going to hit you over the head with some uh, some quirk, you know, and 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 be overly eccentric. And he's he this character is very grounded, but there's just enough of sort of eccentricities to uh, to to kind of get you uh, get you off balance, and uh, and that that starts to eat at my character and. Rebecca's character, and um, and it seems like Joel's got that all arced out and paced out to to where it kind of hits this um, disturbing crescendo at the end. There's a non-showiness to everything that he does, acting and writing and directing, and just in the way that he'll just talk to you too. There's not a lot of BS with him, and and that it really comes through in the script, the way the the scenes sort of roll out and the information that's that's you know revealed from scene to scene and um it's it's just in a very it's just in a very realistic pace everybody is processing everything in a way that you or I would so therefore it's easy to be affected by what you're watching because that's the way you'd do it and there's it takes a lot of talent to do that and and a lot of restraint to not overwrite something overact something overdirect something he's um He's, he's got a real, real sure hand, like I said. I think everybody's interested in watching a flawed character because none of us are perfect, and it's it's on top of so so it's relatable and 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 also it just becomes interesting to observe the the cracks in someone's veneer. It's an interesting thing to act, and it's also an interesting thing to watch as an audience member. It's one of those great movies that ends and you. You just you dying to get in the car and talk to the person you saw it with about, hey, do you think that such and such was such and such, and did they do such and such? Or, I mean, it's not one of those annoying sort of vague endings. Uh, it's just it just asks a question that is really interesting to debate, um, and also, was that did he deserve that or not? Uh, who who was the villain? and who and who was the the victim